A mother is cooking while waiting her son to come home from school. The mother was negligent in cooking worse because of doing other housework. When the mother arrived at the kitchen, she found the part of the kitchen of her house was on fire. Anxiously, the mother immediately took water from the sink to pour into the fire to put out the fire. Unfortunately, the cooking stove section have suffered a gas leak. This caused an explosion and injured the mother in half of her body. Her son, who had just returned from school, keep calling the fire department and ambulance. The mother was successfully rescued and taken to hospital. At the hospital, the doctor suggests to her mother replace the damaged skin with new skin you tissue using the nanocellulite method. You have burned on half your body. I suggest you to use the nanocellulose method to repair burned skin tissue. Okay, I will use the nanocellulose method to repair the mess skin. My name is Muhammad Fridan bin Azmi. My message number is J two zero two A zero five zero seven. Today I would like to talk about what is nano cellulose because of its easy availability, biodegradability, and biocompatibility. Compatibility nano cellulose is a suitable nano materials. Nano Cellulose can be utilized and has a template for making new nanomaterials. They use a nano cellulose based nano composite in drinking water, filtration, catalytic degradation of organic contaminant, and absorbent to collect spill oil from water has shown promise. What is problem statement? Uh, number one, why the doctor choose the nano cellulose method to the perform on their patient who suffer from burn on the body? As natural nano scales materials, nano cellulose process diverse characteristics different from traditional materials, including special morphology and geometry dimension, crystallinity height specific surface area, radiological properties, liquid crystalline, and so on. On the basis of these unique properties, both nano injects and completely new nano enable product has been invested ranging from good application like regulation, modified composite, Reinforcement or paper active to high end applications such as tissue engineering, drug delivery, and functionality material. Number two, uh, number two, what is a problem statement? How is nano cellulose able to replace tissue skin cell? The atomic order of imaging is possible functionality material is frequency limited to the nano scales. Nano particles special in case in mesoporous host and build crystal with interesting nano scales. Organization are only a few examples. From such material, our strong approach for solving the atomic structure of build crystal field. At the moment they are not widely applicable unified and related technologies to replace crystal prodigy and the nanoscales. Uh, the, that's all. Thing. Hello everyone, my name is Muhammad Dinia bin Azhar and my magic number is J2080504. I will share to you about the advantage of nanocellulose for tissue engineering application. Firstly, the advantage of nanocellulose is being an alternative solution to non-renewable resource. In this context, cellulose, stock, alginate, chitin and chitosan, gelatin, 
have been revealed as promising candidate in relation to their abundant availability from a variety of source. Secondly, the advantage of nanocellulose is the material in nanocellulose is good for environment. Among them, cellulose is a most widely obtained renewable compound for the biosphere and it can be found in plant alga, tunic and some bacteria. The third, the advantage of nanocellulose is nanocellulose is good for repairing burn skin. Bacterial cellulose is a hydrogen containing nanofibrin that mimics the fibrilla component of the natural extracellular matrix. Free of poor biocompatibility and low bioavailability as well as severe immune rejection. Hi, my name is Song Chun Hao. My normal battery number is J20806007. So today I want to talk about the disadvantage of nanocellulose for tissue engineering application. First of all, nanocellulose less antibacterial potential. Nanocellulose need to be modified to obtain antibacterial potential. Nanocellulose is a very potential material. It can use to deliver different molecules. So, if nanocellulose have a good antibacterial properties, it can provide us from infecting our human body tissue when we use nanocellulose from human tissue surgery. The second the advantage of nanocellulose is the problem biocompatibility of nanocellulose. Biocompatibility refers to ability for the forgetting body impact in the body to consist homolysis with the tissue without causing helpful change. It is the basic requirement of for the use for each biodynamic material. Although the result for many experiments believe that nanocellulose has a win range for biocompatibility. So unfortunately, some research on nanocellulose as such as CNC based material like hydrogen only report cell structure experiments which evaluate the condition of material biocompatibility to cell growth, reproduce and activity only. Thus the advantage of nanocellulose is the toxic study of nanocellulose is still in the basic state. Although early research reports show that nanocellulose is not toxic or as low toxic, but we need to do more experiments to confirm that nanocellulose have toxic or not. So it we so that to make sure we can use in our human body. Hi, my name is No Atira Binti Mama Alias. My number metry is J twenty A zero five four four. There are have three categories, which is cellulose nanofiber, cellulose nanocrystal, and bacterial nanocellulose. For cellulose nanofiber, are cellular fiber that are intuitively thin and manufactured from wood. Nanocellulose fiber are a few nanometers thick. Nanocellulose crystal are the one of kind nanoparticle made from cellulose, the most painful in exhaustible natural polymer. Lastly, bacterial nanocellulose, which is PNC. The culture medium account for roughly 30% of the overall cost of PNC bioproduction and versatile properties. Bacteria make PNC using two-step process, which is polymerization and crystallization. Next, I will proceed a conventional nanocellulose for tissue. First, before performing nanocellulose surgery, patient will be exposed of benefit nanocellulose skin surgery. Second, patient will be given an after entering the operating room to proceed the effect of pain when pre performing surgery. Third, they will use equipment to perform the process of new tissue patching. Fourth, cell replacement surgery will be performed safely. Lastly, once the surgery is complete, the patient will take several weeks to recover after the operation. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Aminah Kambi. I did not know my message number is J20A0410. Today I would like to tell about the experience of the recovery phase stage.
for the first leg is pain you will definitely feel a bit of discomfort like any other disease treatment and you will need to take the medication like painkiller secondly inflammation it of you when a reaction in the damaged tissue to the material use thirdly germination the wound section is rebuilt for new channel for the construction of blood vessels so that the tissue can receive adequate oxygen and nutrient post maturity phase this is known as the maturation phase when the wound is completely closed and the scar begins to fade uh, the lastly is cleanliness for the hygiene recommendation on the skin to promote healing and prevent bacterial infection in the area in conclusion nanocellulose is a sustainable nanomaterial because of its easily available nature biodegradability and biocompatibility the advantage of having nanocellulose for the for tissue engineering application uh, that it can be an alternative solution to non-renewable uh, resources, uh, environmental pollution, global warming, and energy crisis. The nanocellulose is also good in the environment and repairing burned skin because it resembles natural soft tissue, including the skin. While having the advantage, the nanocellulose uh, also lack antibacterial potential where it needs to be modified to obtain antibacterial properties. It also has a biocompatibility problem to coexist uh, with the tissue without having harmful costs, harmful chains, uh, and the toxicity study of nanocellulose is still in the basic stage. Hi, my name is Mohamed Shahidin Misakri and my metric number is j 20 a 0524 So, I will continue about the conclusion. So, from this topic, we will know about three categories of nanocellulose, which is first, cellulose nanofibers, second, cellulose nanocrystal, and third, bacteria nanocellulose. Uh, after that, we will know about this topic, also about the recovery phase after nanocellulose procedure, which is first, we will got pain, that feel a bit con discomfort, uh, inflammation to smooth out the region to help heal it, Proli proliferation, one part is rebuilt, four is maturity phase, which is one is completely closed, and fifth is cleanless to promote healing and prevent bacterial infections in that area.